What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you missed the last video, it's up in the corner. We got all the four wheel drive stuff for the front end installed in the truck. We got the differential, CV axles, spindles, everything swapped over, the manual hubs installed. Now we got to tackle the rest of the swap. So what I want to get done today is get the clutch pedal, the master cylinder, everything mounted. That's going to be kind of a task because we have to drill some holes through the firewall to mount that master cylinder and there's not a whole lot of room. and we're gonna have to get a little creative with the template. So what I actually did, which might make it very easy, since I still have that parts truck, I built this, I just cut this out, kind of traced it out because there's a little indent, you can see with that round, there's a little indent in the actual firewall and this fits pretty nice in there. So we're gonna line this up in the double cab, make sure it fits and then we have to drill these holes, but we might have to pull a bunch of stuff out just to get access to get a drill into the firewall to drill it. So hopefully you guys can see down in there. So the master cylinder is gonna mount right down in here and you're not be able to see it on the camera. Well, I guess you can see it right there. There's kind of that rounded bottom and it angles up. So that's what I cut this for. This will go against the top of the seam right here and sit right down in there like that. So that should get us pretty close. I know it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but I want to get it as close as I can. So if this works out and you guys are doing this swap, hit me up. I'll cut you out one of these and send it out to you. Just give me a couple bucks for shipping maybe. I'm not going to charge you for it. But if this does work, it's going to make life so much easier than just a wild guess on these holes. You want them pretty close. You don't need to be 100% perfect. But the closer you can get it, the better. So I imagine I'll have to pull all this EVAP crap out of the way just to get the drill in here. To be able to drill this so first thing I'm gonna do get the hood off make a little more room there and then I'll pull all this off and we'll see if we can drill this out so here's a clutch pedal so those two studs is what we're trying to drill for and then there's this other mount right there on the top which this truck thanks to Toyota already has the mount and threaded mount and everything up under here let's see if we can see it so here we are there's a little access right there that is already like kind of pre-cut you just pull it out and then that's where the master will mount through and then when you come up here you can see that cut out there you can see that threaded insert into the actual body that's where that top mount bolts in so that is a factory mount we don't have to mess with that at all so that's going to make it a lot easier we don't have to mount that up and then one other thing i got to figure out is the brake pedal because this is the longer pedal for the automatic my parts truck is a 96, which is different pedal. The whole linkage setup is way different. So I'm going to try to probably just cut this and try to get that small pad on this pedal. If that doesn't work, I'll have to find a newer pedal to match this linkage and everything, but from a five speed truck. So we'll get the clutch in and then we'll figure out what to do with that brake pedal.
Well, there's the holes, guys. Hopefully this works out. It looks pretty close on when I put the master in there, but the real test is trying to get the bracket in because those studs go through the holes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the camera up underneath, probably not. So I'll get that bracket in and see if it fits. If it does, I'll show you guys what it looks like and we can bolt on the master cylinder out here. There we go, master is bolted in, so that template worked out good. I didn't have any issues getting the bracket or that master on. Let's see if we can get up under here, I'll show you the pedal. So that's how it should look when it's bolted in. You can see the bolt up on top, bolted into the, bo the body up top, and then those two studs going in. I need to put the pin in still through that rod, but everything is good to go there. Now we need to do something with that brake pedal, you can see it is very close to this other clutch pedal. So what I think I'm gonna do is just pull the pedal off and I'm just gonna match this cut here. Let's pull this pedal off and see what we can do to make that work. All right, we got the pedal out and I traced the other pedal. So it's a little bit taller, but I think we might be able to make that work. If I need to, I can always weld some something on the bottom, I guess, to get that extra distance there. But let's cut it up, see if we can get a pad this size to fit on this pedal. All right guys, we got a change of plan. So I was looking at this brake pedal that I pulled off the 04 and it's put, this whole pedal is pushed over about an inch farther than the factory or the uh, five speed pedal. You can see, well, maybe not an inch, but probably three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna have to bend this right here and that's gonna put this whole pad all crooked. So I think what I'm just gonna do is cut both of these off I'll bend this out, get it back where it should be, and then I'll weld this pad onto this pedal. All right, we got that straightened out just like the other one, but now you can see it's a little too tall. So I'm gonna cut that down a little bit and then we'll weld that pad back on and we should be good. There we go guys, there's the pedal, not too bad. Came out pretty good. So that should definitely do the trick. So we gotta throw it back in and make sure everything is good to go. Clutch pedal is 100% done, so once we get the brake pedal in, we shouldn't have to do much more under the dash here. There we go guys, there's the pedal. Should be good to go once we get the uh, pads for these two. So we are done under the dash here for the pedals. Well, that's it guys. I know it was a short video. I just wanted to get that figured out, get that master cylinder mounted in. Like I said, if you guys are doing the swap and need that template, let me know. Shoot me an email, I'll have my email address down below. Like I said, I'm not gonna charge you just a few bucks for shipping and send it out to you. And wanna just help you guys out. Since I have that donor truck, I was able to make that template. So if you guys need it, shoot me a message, I'll send one out to you. Well, the next video, we're gonna get the motor and tranny pulled out of this thing, 
get it stripped down, ready for the five speed tranny and the diesel. So I still gotta buy the adapter plate and all that stuff, but we got so much fab work coming. We gotta fab up all the intake, the intercooler piping, exhaust, motor mounts, all that stuff is gonna be fabbed. There's not really any companies that even make those parts. So we're gonna have to make it ourselves. So very excited to get back into the fab stuff. I know I did a lot of fab work on that red truck. It was a lot of fun doing that. I'm excited to get at it again, making custom parts and making cool stuff. Well, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.